So in this video we're going to look at how to create a custom animation. If you haven't watched the video about creating custom images, you're not sure how to create custom images, you'll have to go back and watch that video until you understand it because creating custom animations means creating multiple custom images and joining them together. Okay, so I'm carrying on from where I left off at the end of the custom image tutorial. I've created my left arrow image. Okay. Now, to create an animation, what you have to do is create a series of images, and those images get played one after the other. Okay. That's how animation works. So, what I want to do with my left arrow, instead of just having it as an arrow pointing to the left, I want it to move, to point, to the left. Yeah, that's my left, the left, that way. Okay, so what I need to do is create a series of different images and then join them all together. Okay, so instead of calling this first one left arrow, I'm going to call it left arrow one because it's the first image in my animation. Now I can copy and paste that code because usually when you create an animations, you don't change much in between. Uh, frames okay I'm only going to do three frames of animation here so I've got left arrow one left arrow two and left arrow three okay um, you can call them whatever you want as long as they've got different names and they all make sense that's fine now at the moment all of my images are exactly the same but I want to change that so all I'm going to do is move the whole image to the left one space so I'm going to delete whatever number is at the start and add a zero onto the end. Okay, so delete the first number, add a zero, delete the first number, add a zero, delete the first number, add a zero, delete the first number, oops, and add a zero at the end. For my last uh, image, I need to delete the first two numbers and add two zeros at the end. Okay, see how this is working? It's basically making everything shift across. Uh, a couple of spaces. Now obviously this is just for my animation uh, if you wanted to do a different animation it's entirely up to you how you animate it. As long as you've got a, a number of different images everything's fine. Okay. Now once I've created those custom images I need to join them all together into a, uh, a list. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say here's all the images that I want you to play play them all one after the other. Okay, so I'm going to call mine all left arrows. It's a list containing all of those arrows. Now, the way we specify a list is by using the square brackets. Anything that goes in between the square brackets is going to be part of the list. So I'm going to put my first item in there, which is left arrow one, and then a comma, and then my next item, left arrow two, and then a comma, and then my last item, left arrow Okay, close the square brackets. So now I've created three custom images and I've joined them all together into this one object called all left arrows. Now the last thing that I need to do is actually display them. Okay, so at the moment my code says display.show left arrow, but what we actually want to do is display all left arrows. So display.show all left arrows like this. Now there's one other thing that we want it to do. If I don't tell it to loop, it will not loop. Okay, it will just play the animation and then stop, which is not what we want because we've only got three frames. So what I'm going to do is put a comma after all left arrows and then say loop equals and then true with a capital T. You've got to have a capital T on that true otherwise it will not work. Okay, so just make sure that you've got your code similar to this. You've created your first image, you've created your second image, you've created your third image, and any other images that you want to go into your animation. You've joined them all together like this. So you've opened your square brackets and you've got um, your first image, your second image, your third image. Now obviously if you're reusing some of the, um, the images, you can just add them in without having to redefine them. Okay, so decide if if that's if you wanted to make the arrow bounce rather than just going and then resetting, you know. Um, and then display dot show and the name of your list. You'll notice all left arrows. That's the same as this all left arrows here. And then a comma and loop equals true. Once you've done that, you can download the microbit hex file, drag it onto the microbit, 
and then once it has finished flashing which usually takes about 10 or 15 seconds let's have a look at my micro bit here you can see hopefully you can see I've got an arrow which is animated okay it's moving across to the left there um, and uh, then it is resetting you can speed up the speed of the animation if you want to uh, by changing the delay setting okay once I've plugged this back in I will show you how to do that so it's all down in the display dot show line so all left arrows is the thing I'm displaying loop equals true and then I can say delay equals and then you specify how long you want to wait in between frames and it's in milliseconds so if I say I don't know let's say 10 milliseconds that's like a hundredth of a second in between each frame that's going to speed it up quite a lot so let's see if that works let's download the hex file again I'm going to drag it across drop it onto my micro bit wait for that to finish flashing okay and now oh let's have a look at this okay so maybe 10 was a little bit too fast it's going so fast I can't actually make that out I think 50 is probably a good starting point so I shall just plug that back in I'll try 50 there's 50 download the code again flash it onto my micro bit again and <laughs> okay it's still it's still pretty fast but at least at least I can I can see uh, the animation now okay so you can fiddle around with the delay setting uh, get it to a speed that's uh, that that works for works for your animation okay and that's it have an experiment try out creating different uh, different images try reusing the same image more than once in your uh, in your list see what happens uh, and once you are comfortable you can move on to the next step which is adding input buttons